Hi, I'm Greg with Precision Replacement Parts. In this video, we will be showing how to install our Beltline refurbished kits for the 1970 to 1978 240, 260, and 280 Z cars. This kit contains the rubber strips, the metal retainers, and the staples to do the outer belt lines on both doors. You will reuse your outer chrome moldings. Part number is WFP441070 that fits the coupes and the WFP441074 fits the 2 plus 2 models. Let's get started. These are the tools you need for this project. Now before we start any removing any parts, since the rubber weather strip does not run all the way to the end of the chrome portion, what we're going to do is we're going to mark where the end is, just so we have a reference point, and we're going to do this on both ends. Now we're going to start our removal of the staples. Out of pick, and sometimes they'll come, the staples will be able to be removed out like that. Otherwise, you can lift up the middle, come in with the side cutters. Remove them that way. Needle nose pliers. Okay, we removed the eight staples, fastening it together. There's the metal strip. There's a rubber strip. I'll go ahead and if there's any residual weather stripping left behind, we'll go ahead and get this cleaned off. Now we have just our chrome outer molding left. Now we're going to go ahead and install the rubber strip onto the chrome molding. We found out that this strip is a little longer than the one we took off, so we are going to split the difference. And we are going to install the chrome molding into this groove on the rubber strip. In our development, we found that, that the one we removed was attached with some sort of adhesive. In this instance, we are going to use a super glue and attach the rubber strip to our chrome molding. With this super glue adhesive, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a small bead right along the groove that goes on to the chrome molding. And then we will install it. Now we'll continue the rest of the length. Now the holes for our staples, what we're going to do is we can't see them now. So we're going to mark them with a silver marker on our rubber strip. So when we re place the metal retainer over the top of it, 
and we'll be able to see where to puncture the holes for the staples. So now, when we bring our metal retainer and place it over our silver marks, then we take our sharp pick and we will make our passages for the staples. And we'll continue this along the length of the retainer. All right, now for our staple insertion. Through the retainer, the rubber strip, and the chrome molding, I'm going to reinitiate the passage for the staple. I'm going to take the staple and start it. in those holes. Push it all the way through as far as I can go. Now we want to bend the tails of that staple over. This is a standard set of needle nose. We went ahead and found a little thinner set that will reach inside this channel a little better. A snap ring pliers will also work to get into this narrow area. You just want to start bending those tail ends of the staple over. Our main concern is to get this, this portion of the staple seated against that retainer and to give it a firm bend to secure it in place. Now we'll continue the rest of the way. Now we've got all our kit parts installed onto the chrome belt line. We'll remove our tape indicators we have on the ends. Now that we've got all our kit parts installed onto the belt line, it's ready to be installed onto the door.